All right, I know I missed Two Minute Tuesday yesterday because I, I posted a, a dope vlog with, with Casey, but I apologize because I've been trying to keep up with those Two Minute Tuesdays, so this is no exception. It's it's gonna be, we're still gonna do it, it's just not gonna be Tuesday. It's gonna be like a two, <laughs> eight minute. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna post, I'll try to make it up to you. Oh, here we go again. What's up, every wait, no, no, no. What's up, everybody? More like a, like a, what's up? There's a reason why you're so good at this, Peter. It's very hard to do. I'm, I'm doing Two Minute Tuesday, right? Yes. Welcome two to Two Minute Tuesday. Isn't it, when, today's not Tuesday, Peter. No, we missed it yesterday. Welcome to Two Minute Tuesday, brought to you by Casey. Today is Wednesday. <laughs> today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're gonna be talking about uh, let's go with how to make money how doing- How to make money doing- What you love. That is, that is super generic. How to make money with photography and cinematography? How to make movie, how to make money with cinematography. Brought to you by Casey and Peter. Yeah, I'm down with that. All right. Let's throw two minutes on the clock. Not that, not that we're gonna stick to it. I'm gonna stick to it. I'm, I don't think you will. All right, so the in all serious um, advice on how to make money yeah, I don't know how to do it in cinematography. I don't know how to do it the way Peter does it, but I do know how I did it and how I see others do it on YouTube, which is that I think the easiest path to being able to make a living on YouTube is to do one thing really well. Meaning you can't be a jack of all trades. You have to sort of focus on one thing. I think Peter is a perfect example. Peter on YouTube represents like really high quality, amazing cinematography, imagery, photography, and because of that, he's able to represent himself in that narrow space. Now, brands like Peter works with Canon. Peter's able to work with companies and attract companies like that because he has that one thing that he does very, very well. Um, if you think of, uh, if you think of some of the early sort of makeup girls on YouTube, they were experts when it came to makeup, whether it was wearing it, putting it on, using it, what worked, what didn't work. Because of that, they were able to attract the right brands and build a meaningful career that way. I think something that very few people know is that for me, YouTube wasn't about the AdSense. In fact, I didn't monetize my first 100 million video views. Did you know that? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, 100 million views and I didn't monetize and it's because YouTube for me was just something that I loved doing. So by not monetizing it made sure that I was doing it for the right reasons. But those videos that I made, they did attract the eyes of advertisers and companies and brands. So I was able to make a living by making videos that I loved making and then I'd get to work with these brands on videos for them. That got me paid, which meant I could make more videos and then there was this really great relationship between the two. Last piece of advice I would end on is that there is no defined path here. So for Peter to find a defined path to being a successful, uh, filmmaker, cinematographer, photographer, there was no path that he followed. He sort of defined it himself. The same is for me and the same is for most people that I know who make a living on YouTube or leveraging their creativity. That's two minutes, how many minutes was that? That was two minutes and 45 seconds. Was it really? Yeah. But if you count the intro and everything, we gotta be well over three minutes. Uh, yeah, we're, I, I'm, I'm always over. I, I have a real That's two minutes Tuesdays with Casey and Peter. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I have a real issue with the time on, these, on this little series. I know, you gotta work on that, boss. Yeah, it's tough.